How do you do, folks? Welcome. My name is Ladix, and I'm going to do my reaction to episode 9 of season 2, Sweet and Elite. And, well, what comes to mind when I think of this episode? Um, honestly, I think, you know, it, it kind of, like, brings me to mind that it's going to be, like, a Fluttershy and Rarity episode. I mean, like, a mix of them both, because, like, it's called Sweet and Elite. And I feel like the word sweet comes more to Fluttershy, and the word elite comes more to rarity. So, that's like my initial, like, thought. So, let me hope it's... I, I'll just hope it's right, because I want to be right. Because I like to be right, I guess. Anyways, let's get on with it. Three, two, one, go. Oh, we're in Canterlot. What are we doing here? What? Here? I get to stay here? Twilight Sparkles said you were coming to camp for huh? a visit and asked if I might accommodate you. Thank you so much, Princess. You're very well, that's something I never expected to see. Rarity and it's the Princess so together. It's nothing, really. Oh, but it isn't nothing. It's everything. I, I just don't know what to say, but thank you. Thank you. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> what the hell? By the way, I just noticed, like, you guys told me... A like, unicorns have same magics as their eye color. But Celestia has yellow magic, I noticed. But her eye color is, like, pink. Your Highness. Enjoy your stay. Thank you! <laughs> That's enough now, I already. God, that looks like snails, almost. That's <laughs> perfect. Poor guy. Alright. Seriously, I love this new intro. The music just like makes it all more. I don't know. <laughs> I'm so used to hearing the uh, old theme. I almost said. You know what I mean, right? Wait, how does Applejack bend her back like, like when she stands with her legs crossed? <laughs> what hind legs aren't supposed to bend like that? Then again, they do sit on their asses sometimes. So I guess I shouldn't question the logic of this cartoon. I don't really know the anatomy of... <laughs> well, yeah, everyone was going with their head raised. Nice hat. I may have been born in Ponyville, but I am a cantalog pony at heart. Now, I know that we are here to pick up some fabrics from the shop, but Twilight was such a dear to get me that sweet of the castle, I simply must make her something to express my gratitude. Ooh, an outfit for her birthday party this weekend. Perfect! Don't you just love it, Hero Blessings? <laughs> okay. Please excuse our interruption. I'm Jet Set, and this is my wife. Jet Set. We saw you from across the cafe and just had to find out. Where did you get that simply marvelous chapeau? Oh, this old thing? Oh, it's just something I. Rarely! What? What the fuck is that? <laughs> Howdy, partner. Hey, see, turn up truck. We met at the big hoedown at Ponyville last fall. Oh, yes, what? Of course. How are you? Hoedown? Good. Real good. Hmm. When was Rarity at a hoedown? Ponyville. Well, yeah, yes, but uh, she sure is. She's a real big town fancy pint dressmaker there. What's that guy doing there, anyways? I thought it looked a little country. I told you it wasn't something you could get here in Canterlot, dear. Oh, oh God, I hate them. Well, they seem real. Sorry, I was a bit quiet there. My grandma entered my room and then stood next to me. He was making weird faces and was like, "What are you doing?" I said, "Go out. I'm busy." <laughs> No, I'm nice to my grandma, I just, she knows, I'm busy. But she just had to, like, fuck around with me a bit. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> Damn! I have to get started right away. This new design is very ambitious, and I've already written to Twilight to let her know she'll have something beyond fabulous to wear to her party. Alright, why is she bringing her cat? Jesus Christ. Oh god, look at that guy. <laughs> Looks French. I say, that's one way to make an introduction. All right. <laughs> oh, goodness. I am so sorry. I, I didn't see you there. I I've just got so many bags, and I was trying to get back to my suite at the castle, and... You're staying at the castle? 
Well, the, the princess invited me to stay in one of the suites. You know the princess? Hmm. <laughs> a pony with expensive tastes, I see. Oh, it's for an old God, what's she doing? For a friend. Her birthday's in a few days. Again, I'm really sorry I bumped into you. I'm not. <laughs> you are obviously some pony. Why are you bumped? standing like that on him? Listen, I have a VIP <laughs> box reserved at the Wonder Bolts Derby this afternoon. Would you, would you be so kind as to join me and a few of my companions there? Hmm? Did you call her Elizabeth? Course, my dear. Well, I, I'm. Uh, uh, no, sure. We'd love to see you there. Uh, uh, Rarity. Rarity. <laughs> What's she doing? <laughs> Was he was he British or was he just like the way Rarity speaks? Going to the Derby Porsche. The of time I have to finish Twilight's outfit. Pro. Fancy Pants is the most important pony in Canterlot. His stamp of approval could mean big things for me here. Con. Twilight's party might not be as sophisticated as the Derby, but that doesn't mean I shouldn't put all of my energy into creating her birthday ensemble. Exactly. You should do what best for your friend. Do what you already promised. You promised her before you met him, so you can't. You can't. You can't Change your mind when you already promised someone. Oh no. You know what? I've been through a lot of those things where you like, people are like, oh yeah, sure, let's let's meet up that time. And then they're like, oh no, I met someone else, they're gonna meet with me then. <sighs> That's annoying. They just change their mind because they have something, uh, quote unquote, better to do. I'm sure you all know what I mean. Well, most some of you. I'm not saying you're in any way should be affected by that, but you know. This is Rarity. She's staying at Canterlot Castle. All right, Wonder Bolts. For rapid fire, of course, he's sure to take home the grand prize. Mm -hmm. I don't think he has a chance against Fleetfoot. No! <laughs> what? Fleet what? Oh, she did. Bravo, Rarity. I say, how did you know Fleetfoot would be victorious? And Rainbow Dash talks about her all the time. She says what Fleetfoot lacks in size, she makes up for in speed. All right, Rainbow Dash would know oh, everything about that. Rainbow Dash. Oh golly! Uh, <laughs> her voice, her voice, her voice. Why? She's mm. she's the the Wonder Bolts trainer, of course. Oh God, no! Lies, lies, lies. Castle, and she knows the Pegasus is training the Wonder Bolts. <laughs> I told you all, this was an important pony. <gasps> Don't lie. Three cheers for Rarity, my new favorite party guest. <laughs> okay, that that was quick. <laughs> Look at those. <laughs> She's like, "Look at my bitch." <laughs> Once again, people have to walk. I'd love to, but I well, let's not forget my charity auction tomorrow morning. Were <laughs> <laughs> you at my dinner party tomorrow night? I'm flattered. You're really. It's just I have a project I really. Their voices are amazing. Help me. My auction is for charity, dear. For charity. And my she has too much to do now. If you don't come. Just because she's awesome. She can't help being awesome. She is a good pony, though. Still not my favorite, but still a very good candidate. She's she's amongst the top three, though. The top three of my main six favorite ponies. Dress in time for her birthday party is still my top priority. But I can't possibly disappoint the Cantalot elite by rejecting their invitations now, can I? All right. I'm liking this. I'm liking this inter instrumental. I guess. I'll be the toast oh, it's a song. Never mind. Becoming as popular as popular can be. Making my mark, making 
Oh, photo finishes there. Oh god, there was Prince Blue Blood. blood. <laughs> Fuck my life. He was to the right, and like the crowd. If you go back, you can see him. Why would you want to? Why would you want to go back and see him though? He's a natural disaster after all. <laughs> you know what I mean? Wow, that was a great song. Again, once again, these songs are fucking great. Oh, letter. Dear Mr. Potter, we are pleased to inform you. Yeah, that you can't you miss, though. My new reputation in Canterlot is a very no, but you're not gonna live there anyways. You're going ruined. back to Ponyville. I might never be invited to another high society event again. You don't need that. Very important pony. It's just too important. Oh my god, are you serious? My dear Twilight, I am afraid... Jesus I Christ, Rarity, no, what are you doing this? Because... Why? How is she writing while not looking at the paper, though? Your friend, it's like a magic hey, quill. Suppose this means you don't need me to bring down your bags. No, but I will need some help unpacking them. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think? Too much? Okay. <laughs> Garden party, here I come. Oh, hello there. <laughs> okay. Okay, that that's a problem for her. Okay. What are you? How did you? Why are you? Listen to her. She's so excited to see us, she can hardly talk. What I mean to say is, what are you all doing here? When I got your letter saying you were stuck in Canterlot, I asked Pinkie Pie. That was a quick letter. Trouble to move my birthday party here, so you wouldn't have to miss it. Balloons are super easy to pack. <laughs> oh my God! Really? First you get me a suite at Canterlot Castle, and now this. I don't know what to say, Twilight. How about you start by saying what you're doing in that fancy getup? Mm-hmm. Well, I... I uh, done something a little fancy when Opal's feeling under the weather. <laughs> Cheers it right up. <laughs> him? Is it a him, then? Oh, poor Opal. It has eyelashes. Uh, oh, uh, she's... Hold on. Not lids. What? What? <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> She's resting on the bed. Poor baby. Oh god, Fluttershy. Is that my dress? Yes. <laughs> it's so simple. So yeah. Practical. So me, it's the perfect okay. dress for my birthday party. I love it. Wow, that was easy. <laughs> easy to please. When I told the princess that well. I was moving the party to Canterlot, she was kind enough to offer us the Canterlot Castle ballroom. Okay, that's that. that... <laughs> where? That's where the shit happened last time. Gala. Where did you find the time to put up all these decorations? <laughs> oh, I never leave home without my party cannon. 
Oh my god. <laughs> Party cannon. I thought about having my birthday outside, but they're having another party on the castle nice. today. Party cannon. Now I've seen everything. <laughs> Hello there. <laughs> Holy shit. I'm rocking it. How old is you? How old is you turning Twilight? Oh God, Fluttershy! <laughs> Look at Fluttershy! I can't help but laugh when I see a Fluttershy in like the mood to like be a, like to joke around. Mm, no reason I can't at least make an appearance. Oh, <laughs> how does that work? That would look weird if you... Oh, it's Octavia! Octavia? You guys told me she was British as well. I haven't seen, like, any of the fan works yet, but you guys tell me she's British, so I'm just gonna guess. Yes, I always dab a little frosting behind my ears before I go out. After all, who doesn't like the smell of cake frosting? I know I do. Mm-hmm. <sighs> well, all this talk about cake has made me hungry. Think I'll go and see what's on the old dirt table. If you'll excuse me. What table? I must say, uh, yes, you darling. You do look like a... <laughs> you do look like a piece of shit. <laughs> no. <laughs> a golf clap. Or a golf clop, in this case. Thank you, I would expect another death. Right? <laughs> okay. <laughs> nice one, Pinky. As usual. Oh, she just dipped that in chocolate. <laughs> I think I left the bathwater running in my suite. I really should go check on Opal. Is that Princess Celestia? <laughs> the fi you don't even have a backside. Well, you don't have an. O uh, never mind. Oh. You are such a savvy business pony. You must understand. What? I, all of those ponies look so posh. And with the Grand Galloping Gala coming up, I bet you could totally get some of them to buy your dresses. What? The gala? Very smart. Again? Why? Yes, I, I didn't want you to think I was being rude. So that's exactly the reason I can no. tell you. No. <laughs> it's because... <laughs> is that, that is, actually oh, is well, his reason. You, Never mind. you should totally go over there and mingle. Twilight, you really are the best friend a pony could ever ask for. I don't know she just wants to be at the other place. She doesn't want to be with her friend. Understand what? Nothing. See you girls later. Hey, wait up! We're your friends. I'm sure they won't mind if we check out the party too. Come on, you guys. Oh, uh, well, well, well. Um, <laughs> bring your party cannon, huh? <laughs> no, that's not gonna end well. Look at Twilight carrying her gram phone. <laughs> what? <laughs> oh my god! Uh, yeah, it's not gonna end well. <laughs> that pig sound. You know, actually, Pinkie Pie just look. She doesn't look like a pig, but her nose resembles kind of pig, and she has pink skin as well. You got that wrong, AJ. Can you believe what that pony is wearing? It's just so plain. <laughs> yeah. No, you Excuse made that though. Me. Might I ask where you got your ensemble? Why, yes, yes, you may. A very, very <laughs> close friend of mine from Ponyville made it for me. Why would he want to know though? <laughs> Ponyville. Oh god. I do say 
Her name is Fancy Pants. Come with me. I'd like to show you. I love his name, though. Fancy name Pants. Over there, on the other side of the room. In a moment, my dear. Oh, this is humor. He's like th from crowns. Who was just about to tell me who made her charming dress? That dress? Okay. Oh, okay come now, who cares? It's just a plain old. Oh, don't be so modest. This dress you made is beautiful. Uh oh. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Everybody. I don't think so. Look at AJ's feet you or poofs. The walls are closing in. Oh god. What? Don't tell me your sight. What? Yes. Yes, I do know them. They may not be as sophisticated as some of you Cantalot ponies, but they are my best friends. And they are there you go. the most important ponies I know. That's the rarity I know. Important ponies? These ruffians? Don't make me laugh. <laughs> oh. 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 I, for one, find them charmingly rustic. Oh. Well, that's amazing. I Thank the you. you made for your friend is lovely. <laughs> I dare say every man in Cantalot will be wanting one. Oh, I can <laughs> place my yeah. right now. Of course. Here we go. In the end, they always want fancy parents' approval. How about you introduce me to your friends? With pleasure. Dear Princess Celeste, I wanted to tell you about the important lesson I learned during my visit. Now that I would like to hear. <laughs> there she is. No matter where you go in life, you should never forget that you are the product of your Such home a troll. and your friends. And that is something always to be proud of, no matter what. <laughs> A very valuable lesson to have learned. I love is. Celestia. Uh, might I ask that we are <laughs> There's that guy again with his uh, pimples. <laughs> what? Is she, I thought that he. Was, I thought Celestia was taller, much taller. But apparently, uh, oh, maybe she just bent down. Who knows? <laughs> All right, that was a good episode. I liked it. It it, it really brought Rarity out in the light, and I like that. In the end, she redeemed herself by supporting her friends, which was a really good thing, and I like that a lot in her. She does, she does have her moments, and I appreciate that. Thank you, DHX Media, for giving me this episode and Hasbro Studio. So, hope you guys enjoyed my reaction, and I will be back next time. See you, see you then. Bye bye.